So in this first video that we're going to do for you today, uh, introducing parts of the castle, we're going to be looking at what is one of the most interesting pieces inside the castle that help us understand how people lived here at various time points. We're going to start up at the top um, and show you what is left of the 15th century fireplace um, and hopefully the uh, is going to go into focus. There we are. Um, so up here we have what's left, as we say, the 15th century. There's like one column here on the right hand side in the grey stone, which you can see here. And on the other side, much of it is missing uh, from the left hand column. As we move further down the building, uh, there is actually here a window seat. And it's quite a bit easy to spot once you know what you're looking for. Uh, unfortunately the sun is behind us today so you can't see the tiny little gap that's in the centre of what I'm looking at here but if I use my finger to try and point it out hopefully this will work, there we are this grey rock here that goes in and this red rock here and the, or red stone on the other side rather that goes in here these are the seats of a window seat that would have been there at one point. It wouldn't have been there at the same time likely as the fireplace so and the window has been completely blocked up now so we know that uh, the window seat fell into disuse at some point. As we move further down uh, the building you can see here uh, a date of 2014 and it looks like some more modern uh, stonework here. And if you were thinking that, then you would be absolutely right, because this is part of the works that was undertaken in 2014 to help stabilise the castle and make sure that it wasn't going to fall down around about us. There's another set of works uh, which we'll show you in later videos uh, to show you what happened during the consolidation. Uh, but in that, uh, one of the interesting features that I'll show you just now, if we look back up to the top here to the right hand side of the fireplace, you might see three uh, stones, one, two and three, looking at you sideways and there's um, some silver square looking metal things underneath, which uh, which we know, now know this is the remnants of an old staircase and those silver parts were also put in, and there's two more up there, uh, in 2014 to help stop that fall down as well. But we're going to move back down, there's a nice look at the window seat again. There's actually two window seats that we know of in this space. If we move over to the side here where you can see that tiny little square. But if we move even further to the side, watch my step, then you can see here a straight edge. And that is the left hand side of another window seat that is no longer there. But it tells us that the castle extended much further out towards the left, which would, uh, sorry, the right, which would be down towards uh, Winton Court and the railway line. Moving back over, we come further down, um, I'll just zoom out here a little bit, so that we can see the whole extent of the inside of the gatehouse uh, door here. There's actually three different doors. Uh, you might be able to spot that there's different colours. So we have the grey stone here, which if we follow up, you can see what would have been the top of the archway on the inside. Although it has this mysterious box that we don't really know much about, too much about yet. But we're working on it. But um, the grey sandstone is the first gatehouse and it's quite large, although it's smaller on this side than it is on the other side. And then inside it, you have the second doorway, which is made out of this red, very red sandstone uh, in the centre. And the third doorway is a slightly different colour of sandstone, more blondy, more sandy. And you can see the gun loop in the centre of that. Now we rather suspect, like many castles uh, during medieval times, as the weaponry got bigger, as the guns got bigger, and uh, there was less need for horses and, and such like, that the doorways got smaller to make it more defendable with the, the modern weapons that they had. So we hope you find this interesting. This is just a quick introduction to one part of the castle and we'll be hoping to bring you more of these uh, weather permitting. Uh, we've got a rather lovely day for it today. So happy Saturday everybody.